So guys, I'm dropping the lever now. Here it goes. What is up guys, your boy Chris here. Guys, it's time. Your boy got the letter. It took a month, man, or almost a month to receive this, man. Um, if you guys don't know, my boy Kev, you know, he's locked up and um, I don't know if he's innocent or not. He has court tomorrow and um, y'all pray for him, you know, I'm going to be praying for him too. I opened the envelope, but I didn't read the letter what he sent me. So we about to see what he said. So yeah, let's see. Wow. Okay, he sent me a drawing of my whole name um, and one full okay you know there it goes um, he wrote this the 22nd so of um, October so here he goes he said um, I'm not gonna say my government name but he said dear my government name I got your letter, October 6th, 2013. I mean, not 2013. He says, thanks for writing one, bro. It lets me know you are okay. The reason I'm sending one so late is because the CEOs keep telling me the address is incorrect, so I will send the letter with my aunt so she can pass by your house and drop it off. Drop it off for me. Oh. Okay, so really the mailman didn't drop it off. Um, his aunt dropped it off. Um, I will add you to my visitation list. Also, my next court date's on number 14. I think it starts at 1130. So I got the date, so I'm going to try to go. If you like, um, hold up. I'm trying to see what he says. Okay, here it goes. If you do like, you're well, you're more than welcome to come. Sorry if I'm messing up my words. Um, I I am also aware. Hold up, my mom is talking to me. All right, guys, your boy's back. So he says, um, I am also aware of the article, um, uh, they made about me and me being on the news and my friends and loved ones posting me on social media. Blah blah blah. Anyways. I'm innocent. I'm being accused of something I did not do. I've been here locked up for 80 days and you have no idea how much I want to leave and go home. You know, guys, I've never been locked up. All right, guys, I'm back. So, um, as I was saying, you know, I never been locked up myself, you know, but the things that like, um, um, I don't know if you guys watch Banky Pound or After Prison Show, but the things that they go through, man, and also the things that they see, and maybe the CEOs, the way that um, they treat them, it's just sad, you know? Um, um, and I'm not saying all CEOs. I'm talking about the ones that come at the inmates disrespectful and all that foolishness. Um, okay, so he said... Um, yeah, so he says he's been locked up for 80 days and you have no idea how much I want to leave and go home. I just hope and pray to get my freedom back the day of my court because honestly, being here locked up is not easy. I get bored of I get bored of repeating the same. I'm trying to figure out how you, how you say this word. Hold up. Let me use Google Translate. Hold up. All right, guys, I'm back. So he says, I get bored of, re of repeating the same procedure every day and of playing cards and watching TV, you know, well, period, you know, you should, you should have, um, written down your number. I could get 
Oh, man. He said, I could get a free call here every Monday. Remember, I told you that last time you'll, um, you'll hear. See, he says, you'll hear me say my name. So to make the call go through, you have to dial the number zero. After that, we can talk every Monday. Just let me know. Hey. All right, guys, I'm back. So I'm not going to say this one word because I'm a I'm a stutter saying it. So he just says, let me know what time you want me to call because I understand you might be busy at certain time, certain time of the day, certain time of the day. Miss you, man. Stay out of trouble so you don't go through what I'm going through. Hey, if you want to look to look out, help out. Oh, he meant help out. With anything on my book, my case number is 21 and then dash 01559. You don't necessarily have to do, you don't have to, you don't necessarily have to, bro. It's fine. You want to? Okay. Well, he said, if you want to, okay. Miss you and see you soon. Your best friend, Kevin. And he puts on the left side right here, um, the days, 80 days for your boy Kev. So that way I ain't coming back for real, <laughs> man. And the drawing that he sent me. That's my government name. It's this. So it starts from, let's see. So it starts from right here and then my last name. So yeah, and then I hope you guys enjoyed the video, you know, um, it's a sad, it's sad, you know, I got the letter when I came home from work and my eyes were getting watered because I was like, damn, like, you know, he's facing one to 20 years, you know, but he says that he's innocent. So we're just going to have to see how this plays out. I just hope he doesn't have to do, you know, like years, but if that's what happened, if, if he does do, you know, like a lot of time, um, I'm going to be there for him, you know, I'm going to be there for him. I'm going to be there for him, writing him, going to go see him and yeah, and you know, me and my mom were having a conversation when um, I got the letter right, and I was telling her that you know who your real friends are once you get locked up. Like, the real ones are going to be the one right there for you, writing you, calling you, all that. But the fake ones are the ones that are not going to do that. And then you'll realize who really are your friends, you know, like... I only have like part like five friends or less. Um, the others could be like, you know, mutual friend, but the guys I used to kick it with, the day that I stopped, you know, smoking weed, they stopped calling me and it made me realize, you know, who are my friends and who's not. So yeah, I just want you guys to know I love you guys. If you guys want to write my boy, um, I'll put his um, inmate number down in the description below. So, yeah. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Even though it's a sad one, I just hope, you know, you know, like, yeah, like, yeah. Um, so, yeah. Subscribe if you're new. Add a comment if you like. And, you know, share the video, you know. So, yeah. Peace.